Before University Town of NUS was constructed, there used to be a cinema named Ilong Theatre or Kent Cinema, which was opposite Newtown Secondary School. Movies were below a dollar. Most of its customers came from the British military stationed at the nearby Portsdown camp. Ilong Theatre had a bowling alley as well. Movie tickets now are charged at $10 or more, showing how much we have progressed as a nation. The site at the present Singapore Polytechnic field used to be a field where brass band competitions were held at during youth day. Finals were held at Jalan Besar Stadium. These were the days before the National Stadium was opened in 1973. The present site of Dover Court Preparatory School used to be a golf course named Warren Golf Course, which shifted to an alternative site in Chuajukang for the expansion of the National University of Singapore. This was one of the rare occasions where the government took back land from a golf course when its lease expired. After blocks 1, 2 and 3 were constructed, the second phase of Dover Road involved the addition of blocks 27, 28 and 29. In the past, bus 33 was the only bus available for Singapore Polytechnic students. Along this stretch of road, students would sometimes hitchhike onto lorries and vehicles to avoid the long 15-minute walk into the campus. Such a practice stopped after more houses were built and traffic density increased. Through the progress of Singapore as a nation, I feel that the kampong spirit that people used to have has gradually faded away as well. The block we are seeing here is Block 1, the first block being built in Dover Road and where Mr Tan stayed at since 1974 until he got married. Looking at Block 1 has reminded me of the importance of preserving our heritage as they hold plenty of memories for Singaporeans. The field of Anglo-Chinese Independent School used to host soccer matches which attracted people of all races and walks of life. In the initial stages of Dover Road, Mr Tan commented that the place was really windy due to the existence of only blocks 1, 2 and 3 in the vicinity. With the addition of more buildings, the place is now busier and is less windy as well. From block 1, Mr Tan would frequently see the ACSI soccer field being filled with soccer players. The building we are seeing now is ACJC, which was founded in 1977. The present site of the condominium Heritage View used to be the site for the Singapore Armed Forces 1st Signal Battalion, where our first Chief of Defence Force, Lieutenant General retired Winston Chu, used to be a commanding officer. Could the name Heritage View have any significance to the heritage that the site has? <laughs> 